In this video I'm going to show you how I program my Airport Express so that I'm able to connect to it with my iPhone and stay on 3G service. That way I can stream music to my Airport Express uh, even when listening to Slacker or Pandora when my Airport Express doesn't have an internet connection. Uh, your Airport Express doesn't have to be modified like mine. I've, I've modified it so that it'll run off of a USB cable uh, in my car or any USB source, but this would work with just a regular uh, not modified Airport Express. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is plug mine in to a USB power source, and you'll see it uh, power on here. Now, if you've got a, a used Airport Express or one that's already been programmed, you'll want to uh, reset it to factory settings. And the easiest way to do that is to hold in this little... Um, <clears throat> Uh, this little button right here with a pencil or uh, a needle or something and hold that button in while you plug the Airport Express in. Keep holding that uh, little button down until you see this uh, light here flash green and then go back to flashing amber. Uh, once it's done that, uh, your Airport Express is back to factory settings. So uh, just to illustrate how this works when I have it set up in my car, uh, I'm going to plug it in. You see I've got it running off the USB cable here. And I'm, these are my computer speakers, but th this is the same type of plug that I use for my uh, for my car speakers. So that's uh, up and running just like that. And I'll set this here so you can see the uh, the amber light. So obviously, the, the first thing you'll need to do uh, on your PC or your Mac is connect to the uh, Wi-Fi network that the Apple Express is broadcasting. Since mine's already programmed, uh, I've just named mine Volvo S60. Uh, but yours, if it's if you're programming your your Airport Express for the first time, would say something like Apple Network and then a bunch of letters and numbers. So you'll connect to the uh, Airport Express network, and once you're connected, you'll need to launch the uh, Airport Utility. Uh, you can download that from Apple. Uh, in the Airport Utility, it should be able to find your uh, Airport Express. Um, I'm going to cancel this firmware update option uh, because I'm already uh, updated to version 6.3. Once you're in the airport utility, you'll want to do a manual setup of your Airport Express. So click that. And it'll say it's reading from the uh, Apple device. I'll tell you to wait. Now, once you're in the main menu here, uh, you'll click on. You can you can name you can go to base station and you can name your Airport Express um, and give it a password if you want to, um, <clears throat> but if you're happy with the name that it's given there, then you don't have to change that. What you do need to change is you need to click on Internet up here at the top, and you'll need to change connection sharing. Change this from whatever it says to off bridge mode. Okay, once you've got it on bridge mode, you'll click the second tab here that says TCP IP, and you'll need to give the Airport Express an APIPA address. Uh, I'm not going to go through the details of what an APIPA address is, but you can just use this address right here, which is 169.254.97.38. If these fields are grayed out, then you'll need to change this connect here. Instead of DHCP, change that to manually, and then enter this information in here. For the subnet mask, you'll enter 255.255.0.0, and the router address should be the same as the IP address. You can also go in here to the music button up here, make sure that AirPlay is enabled, and you can name your speakers, uh, you know, whatever you want to name them. That's all that you need to do uh, to program your Airport Express. You'll need to click the Update button up here, down here uh, to load that configuration onto uh, your Airport Express and it will reboot. Um, some other things you can do, uh, you can name your, if you click on Airport and then Wireless, uh, this should have already changed to create a wireless network. Uh, you can name that wireless network something else if you don't like that Apple network and all those letters and numbers. Uh, you can name it whatever you want. I've chosen to name mine Volvo S60 since it's going to be in my car. 
Uh, I'm not going to update my Airport Express right now because uh, it's already programmed the way I want it. So I am simply going to exit. And uh, once your Airport Express reboots, you can get your iPhone or your iPad or your iPhone or your iPod, whatever, out. Um, this is where it gets not complicated, but a little bit frustrating. So you'll launch the settings app and uh, click on Wi-Fi, and you should be able to see your um, Airport Express network. You'll tap it to connect, and you'll see it just spins and spins and spins. Uh, you never actually get the little check mark over here saying that it's connected. That's a good thing. So right now, uh, my iPhone is jailbroken, and I have the name of my Wi-Fi network up here instead of the name of my carrier. So you can see that I'm connected to the S60 network, and it says I'm on edge right now, uh, just because I have poor service in this corner of the house. Um, and I can AirPlay. I've got my AirPlay button here, and I can stream music to the Volvo. And since it's connected to my computer speakers right now, you'll see that I can play music. And it plays over my uh, plays over my computer speakers. The reason it's frustrating is because once you disconnect from the Volvo network or your whatever you name your Airport Express network and then reconnect it will drop. What I mean by that is when you reconnect automatically when, your I, when you have the Wi-Fi network stored in your iPhone and your iPhone automatically reconnects to the Airport Express network you'll be able to AirPlay for about anywhere between 10 and 20 seconds and without fail every single time your music will stop playing after 10 or 20 seconds. The only way I've found to get a, the only way I found to get away to get around this is every time you're done airplaying to your your Airport Express is to go in here and uh, so you've got your Airport Express network. Click this little blue button here and then tap to forget this network and then forget. That'll automatically disconnect the network and conveniently it'll stop playing the music so you don't even really have to pause the music and disconnect from airplay all you have to do is go into settings Wi-Fi Volvo Express you know what Airport Express network forget this network um, I think that's it uh, hopefully maybe somebody who uh, watches this video will have a a better way to program it um, I've tried many other things I've tried uh, going into settings and then in under Volvo uh, or the Airport Express network uh, changing this to boot P which I understand is an older uh, protocol instead of DHCP uh, that didn't quite work I've tried giving the iPhone and a PIPA address uh, as a static address um, and that only worked that had the same problem it, it would just simply uh, stop airplaying, disconnect, the connection would fail after 10 or 20 seconds. The only way I've gotten it to work consistently is every time I'm done airplaying to go in and forget the network. So that's the, that seems to be the key to it.